Hi guys, thought I would update you on my Mortal Online situation right now. Um, yeah, let's go up here. Uh, let's leave my horse down here though. Leave my horse here. Maybe not here actually, because it's going to annoy people probably right there. So let's get it to follow me over here first. So before I start actually, I've got a bit of a pro tip for you. In Maduli, quite often in Maduli, here is one of the main storage areas in Maduli. You have to be really careful though when you're here, because if you look up here, look, and I'm going to go up here and show you, quite often the thieves in this town, what they will do is, they'll basically stand here, they'll stand up here, somewhere up here, and here they can actually like target anyone here you see who is using the storage area. So therefore they can actually like steal, you know, start the process of stealing things out of your inventory and you're not even going to realize because they're all the way up here. So it's a bit of a pro tip. Um, before you use the storage, it's a good idea if you have a look up here and see if there's anyone up here. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, this is my update on Mortal Online. Basically, I have not been on for a while because I was very, very sick with bronchitis. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had bronchitis, but I had an incredibly sore throat. I could hardly talk for like three, four days. It was a nightmare. So, yeah, that's why I haven't been doing any videos or anything recently. So, I'm in my favorite town. As you know before, in previous videos, I have talked about how much I hate Maduli. And here I am in Maduli. And all three of, uh, of my characters have been moved over here. So that I'm sure that the question everyone is asking is why. Well, I got a message from a guy who's in a, a guild and they're called Koto. K-O-T-O -O. and he basically invited me to their their guild and said that the aim of the guild is to clean up this town and to get rid of the griefers and to help anyone who is new in the game. So I thought hey that's a really interesting idea. I used to be in a guild that were called MDK but that there's hardly anyone ever online anymore so I was you know on the lookout anyway for a new guild so here we go um, yeah so I basically moved everyone here I um, I need to get in contact with the guy who invited me and he will send me an invite to their guild so yeah it's quite interesting now while I'm here why don't I just do a quick tour of the town of Maduli so first of all let's go back down here this area here, like I said, is the main storage area. This is where everyone usually comes for storage. I'm going to show you a bit of a, a pro tip as well. Now, this is the area where you usually get loads of people and therefore a lot of griefers and things like that. So, if you have anything on you which is very, very valuable, you know, and you're trying to be super careful, a pro tip is that over here there is another storage area so just let me run over here and show you that yeah so the other storage area is here and as you can see there's hardly anyone here it's usually really quiet so if you have loads of gold on you or you have anything on you that's very valuable it's a very good idea that you come here yeah rather than the main one because the main one is always very very busy and crazy um yeah another thing that i should show you about this town there's a tutor here a swimming tutor I believe 
yeah there you go look so it's a good idea for you to come here and um, gain that skill you see this building along here that's where there is a, a heavy armor book so if you have a fighter character and you're reasonably far on with your fighter character you will want to go up here and get the heavy armor book it's 10 gold I believe <clears throat> yeah just up here but you want to be really careful because actually where that that building is it's outside of the guard zone so anyone is going to be able to kill you if you go to this building because it's outside the guard zone so yeah you want to be really careful and make sure that you do it really carefully because obviously you, um, you will have 10 gold on you so there's a possibility that it could be, you know that someone could kill you and take it away okay we so uh, there are a lot of mushrooms on the floor and around in Meduli. One of the things that you can do if you are new in this town, you can actually pick them up and you can sell them to the mushroom trader, which is this guy. So that's one of the ways. Obviously, if you're new in the game and you spawn in Maduli usually the first thing that everyone will do is they will have an axe and they will start to chop wood from here and then they sell it to the NPC vendors it's a good way of kind of starting out but also as you can see there's a lot of mushrooms so that's another way that you can earn a little bit of money another pro tip is you see over here this area over here past that that last house you will find something there I can't remember the name of it but you will see all these like silvery things on the floor um, those things are quite valuable so if you are a new you can run over there and basically pick them up and again send them uh, sell them even to NPC vendors yeah so that's a good way of making a little bit of money this area here I think is from mining so if you're into mining this is the extractor tutor where where you actually get that skill and then there's the various equipment here that you will use for mining I have n I have never actually tried any of the mining in this game, so I don't re re really really know how any of this actually works. But if you're interested in that, then you know where to go. Now, another thing that is good for you to do if you are new in Maduli, I mean, first of all, you have to make sure your sword skill is reasonably high. You know so you don't get owned but out here is like the pig field so you'll find lots of pigs over here so it's a good way for you to earn a bit of of money you could come here kill them and either butcher them yourself or find a butcher in the town and sell them I mean I can remember I'd been in the game a few weeks I'd been like chopping a wood and things like that and it was really hard to make any money and I can remember there was this one day where I, I found a butcher guy and he was buying the pig carcasses off me and he was giving me like a 10 silver and all this and I was like wow 10 silver and I was like wow that's amazing you know so so way back then as a, a new character it was a good way of making money so you can see there's a guy out here already I think who's trying to kill them there's loads of pigs all around in this area but again you need to be very careful because this area is outside of the guard zone yeah so someone while you are farming they can basically kill you and take all your stuff okay so let's see what is there anything else I need to tell you of course here we have some NPC vendors I believe this one here is glitched out so don't use this one because I think every time it won't actually and um, the trade it won't actually work you know that this one is fine it's an NPC 
trader so you can sell wood or anything else to this guy over here whoops over here are the the butchery tables you come here if you if you're a, a butcher you can use these tables to extract things you can see there's a guy here who's a butcher over here we have the house vendor so in the future if you ever want to buy a house you come here and you get the house stuff from here the house vendor there's other other NPC vendors over here look yeah then one more thing <clears throat> here is the guy for the the mail system so this guy is it this guy yeah so here is how you can actually send and receive stuff in the mail um, it's very important that all your characters are in the same town so if all your characters are in Maduli you can actually use this function and send a, a mail to the other character and it's like a really good way of transferring things. For example, I have a character who's a fighter who will kill animals and he will post the carcasses to my other character who's a butcher. So as long as they're all in the same town, then it's absolutely fine. I think that if you try to post it to other towns, you have to wait for a player, I think, to pick up here. Oh, so here we go. There's actually one here, spelt bread with caraton to Fabinum. So if you ac accept this, you will basically transport for other, other people. But the problem is, I think that this system is not very widely used. Not many people actually use it or actually come here and take on these jobs. So if you try posting things like to other towns I think it's going to take a long time I mean obviously they're trying to have like a sandbox version of questing where all the quests are set up by other players but in reality at the moment this function is not really being used a lot in my opinion so yeah it's very good if you have all your characters in the same town but if you're trying to send it to other other towns it can be a bit slow there's a guy up here who's like a vendor he sells food so if you don't have any other good source of food you can see he has quite a lot of food here so it's quite good if you don't have any other way now over here are all the crafting tables so you will see here we've got a shield crafting area we've got armor crafting and I believe if you go upstairs that's where the um, the other crafting is the bow crafting yeah the arrow crafting whatever yeah and there's also an NPC up here who I think this one he sells axes and swords like very 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 basic ones oh and he also sells a, a guild stone deed wow cool but anyway yeah so I uh, this is basically a guide for Maduli as you can see one of the things I don't like with this town as well it's very very laggy it's very laggy because basically I don't know why like in other towns I'm in I don't usually get this amount of lag but in this town sometimes as you can probably see from this video sometimes the video will pause it will lag out it's kind of annoying it's not that bad but yeah it's kind of annoying so anyway hopefully that has updated you on my situation um, I'm still actually trying to find a house a spot for a house so um, yeah I will let you know I will let you guys know when I find a house spot I think though that all of the actual pre um, pre defined 
places I think they've all been taken so I think I need to ask a GM about that so as soon as I sort that out I will let you know okay guys thanks for watching and I will have another video up soon thank you bye bye